Hello, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we are playing some viewer levels, so let's get into it. All right, next up, we've got a Japanese level. Looks like it's Kaizo New Soups. I love Kaizo New Soups. This will be the perfect relaxation after the last level I just went through, which was a ridiculously precise hard level. All right, New Soups, let's go. This, this is all I want in life right now, is levels just like this. This is so good. Well, you know what? That doesn't bother me in the slightest, because I'm in such a good mood now. Oop, I had a triple jump stored. I didn't even realize that. All right, we're just going to spin that. There we go. That was everything you want from a short little Kaizo speed run. Not too much pressure. The timer was super relaxed at 300 seconds. A fantastic expert level speed run. Just, just a great level. Right, this level says it's a short and simple Kaizo. Hashtag Team Jam from Scratch Hole. With a double shield jump at the end. Okay. Pretty low clear rate. Pretty low clear rate, but I'm not seeing anything that looks super difficult. So we'll see. It's a lot of momentum control there. Okay, I get it. Uh, hit the on-off, transferred to the Koopa. I just completely misread that situation there. Oh, here's the double shell jump. Uh-oh. Yep. Okay, that's the ending. Yeah, we've got this. We got this within like three lives. Okay, this isn't going to be that bad. I completely messed up my double shell jump, though. I threw the shell up in the air way too early, and I don't know why. But yeah, we've got this for sure. Okay, I need to do all jumps as uh, full height jumps. I, I tried to short a jump because I was like, oh, I want to get the world record time. Um, I need to not do that because of exactly what you just saw there. There's some that you can short, there's some you absolutely cannot. And from here on out, I'm not aware of many that you can. Okay, here we go. Here we're waiting until the proper time. Something fell off about that. Also, my shell never came back down. I think I've just been doing a lot of different setups for double shell jumps lately. It was like I checked it on the uh, the first bounce when you're supposed to wait until just before the second bounce into the saw. Wow, the ultimate troll. <laughs> what is that? What is that? I'm sorry, what? What is the deal with that claw catching my shell that I need for my shell jump? You know what? We're counting that. What? I touched the ground. I touched the ground. I forgot that was a clear condition. <laughs> I, I'm i starting to think I should just not even go for that second shell jump. I should just go for a maximum height single shell jump. There we go. I... I really wanted to do a double shell jump. I tried to do a shell jump multiple times, but that claw kept eating my shell. So I said, you know what? We're doing it as a single shell jump. Uh, if you treat it like a single shell jump, everything works well, and it's a really well laid out level. Great job. This is Colorful Skies from Noodle Z. This level took me all night to make, literally. Please enjoy this hard work. 10% clear rate. 
All right, let's see what we've got here. 42 second world record. Like the music. That's kind of the, okay, we got a, we got some coins down here we want. Let's, uh, let's explore a little bit. But some of these levels that have uh, easier clear rates, I think I think most of the fun in the level is exploring, enjoying the aesthetic. We're gonna take a look around and see what we've got here. Uh, that that's that's a not so nice ghost. Stay away from me, boo. Here we got a magic Koopa over there. Wow, teleporting away just when I was about to poop him right on the head. No. All right, whatever. We got another fifty. These magic Koopas. Uh, looks like I'm supposed to fall down here. Yes, I am. <laughs> Good thing I, uh, I jumped quickly enough there. Nope, big magic Koopa. What is this? Power up, thank you. We got hammer bros up there. Yep. Just gonna take that hit. Grab the next 50 coin. We got a lot of 50 coins. This would be a great level to get an endless. You would have gotten several one-ups by now. That's fantastic. Something's up here. Another 50 coin. We're not letting any 50 coins go. We're getting all the 50s. Okay. Another power up if we needed it. That's fantastic. Into the pipe. Alright. Big jump. Checkpoint two. I'm trusting nothing's gonna kill me. Alright. <laughs> that would have been a terrible spot to just fall to my death. Or oh, one up. Nice. I feel like that's not needed with all the 50 coins this level has had, but you know what? Better to have them than not. Another 50? Hmm. Don't kill me. Is there a Koopa shell coming up or something I was supposed to kick into that? Like, what's... What's the deal there? Okay, I'm not sure how I'm meant to get this one. I was on his head! He teleported inside of me and killed me despite me basically being on his head. Wow. Alright, I can't find any way to get that coin. If you guys see a way to get- Oh, here we go, here we go. How long has this guy been here for? We're getting it, we're getting it. Yeah, that's all the 50 coins, let's go. Good level, a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun collecting all the 50 coins. Um. I, I didn't see that Koopa until the end. I wonder if he was just walking back and forth at the end and I didn't see him until I went back to check. Good level, a lot of fun. Alright, this is Fallen Dungeon from Noodlesy. 1.88% clear rate. Took four hours to make. Keep an eye out for secrets. There's Link level with secrets. We're gonna look for the secrets. Okay, that's not a secret. We got a bomb down here. He could be hiding some sort of secret. I don't think there's anything down there. Well, there's one. Nice. Oh! Bomb got me! Alright, I think we can go back for another sword. Yes, we can. Uh-oh. Nope! We're good, we're good. Oof, I got so lucky several times there. Okay. I, I completely misread that situation there. Okay, that's the jump. I want that coin. I want the coin. We're not giving up till we get that coin. Here we go, bait him away. Oh, you know what, that's how we get the coin. That's a much easier way than what I was trying. All right, we've got a platform up there. What is this? Oh, just a way to get a sword, okay. This clearly looks like something down there. What is down there? We'll find out. I see a 50 coin. With a boss? What? I don't want to boom boom. Go away boom boom. Go away. Go away. All right. Uh, I think this is a go fast situation. Okay. We barely got out of that. That's that's a whole mess up there. I want nothing to do with that mess up there. Here we go, here we go. 
All right, let's move forward. We got a doge. Good old borking doggy. So if you're not familiar, uh, doge, D-O-G, is kind of a name that some people call dogs. It's related to the whole Shiba Inu thing. All right, let's go. Okay, that's a jump. These vine jumps are not my specialty. Uh-oh, that's death. There's something up there. I don't know what's up there, but I want to find that secret. There we go. What's up here? 50 coins again. I feel like this creator really loves the 50 coins, and I'm cool with that. A lot of times 50 coins are better than a 1-up because maybe you don't need any 1-ups. And when you don't need a 1-up, uh, a 50 coin can be fantastic because it can help you determine uh, if you want to collect it or not to get closer to 99 coins for the level. Well, this is not a great situation to be in right now. I'm done for. Aren't I? Oh, we can escape. We escaped. I no longer have a sword, so I'm hoping there's something safe down here. I could use a new sword. Uh-oh. That's a power-up check right there. You need to use bombs to get through, and I don't have any. Let's go collect our sword. Okay, we've seen what's up there now. Let's take the normal route this time, since we've taken the, the secret route. I feel like the normal route's gonna be a lot easier, too. Okay. I booped my head. And now we just chuck a bomb in there, and we'll put two in. We'll put two bombs in here, just to uh, keep ourselves safe. There we go. Nice. Bounce that back. Haha, <laughs> take that hammer, bro. No, the coin! Alright, well we're not getting that coin. That one we see up on the top left was the one at the end of the secret. We already got that one last life. Alright. Checkpoint. Great. That looks like a secret. Yeah. Secret coins! Secret thwomp! That's no good. That's really no good. Okay, give me my sword. Let's go back for more. Are they gonna respawn? Doesn't... Look, oh, well that one did. You've got my key? Alright, cool. Let's just go in here without a sword and hope for the best. Alright, looks like we got a sword for the boss fight. Three one-ups. Excellent. What? It's Bowser on top of a mole? Holy moly! See what I... See what I did there? There's a pipe that dumps out at the end, so it looks like I missed at least one secret. This was a good level. Thank you for letting me know I was supposed to be looking for the secrets. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have. I would have just run to the end of the level. Great job. All right, so the creator said they made this level for me. It was their first ever Kaizo being made. So, Brancy, let's see what this Kaizo level's like. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, something's gonna happen. Oh. I blinked, and I don't really know how I died there. I'm betting I was too slow and the piranha was already dead when I tried to spin jump off of it. Alright, so that's a jump. Double jump. Pick up the goom... Oh, chuck him into the on-off. We got this. What's in this pipe? Hopefully a key. I'm doing this level entirely backwards. And that seems to be causing some problems. <laughs> Let's check the other pipe. I cannot see any cheese, and I'm disappointed. Let's play the level normally. Let's play it properly. Oh, 
was already here. Where's the key, though? There's an indicator there that I'm supposed to throw. But I don't know what I meant to throw. Is there a note block in the saw blade or something? Alright, so as near as I can guess, that throw indicator is somehow going to get me a key. I don't really know how or why, but we're going to try and pick up the P-switch that is in the claw and throw that, and I think that's what we're meant to do. Do something like that. Okay. I did not get a key. It's got to be... Based on that landing position, I'm guessing it's like right underneath this. So what if we try dropping it? We tried all the way banking against the left wall. That didn't do anything. We're going to try dropping it right in the center now. Oh, you know what I could do? I could take the Goomba with me. That could work. He's throwable. That's it. There's a note block. I heard it go boing with a key inside of it. Okay. Now that we know what we're doing, we just need to actually do it. That's it. Okay, we got it now. That was pretty cool. It took me a while to figure out what I was supposed to do. Once I figured out what to do, that was a pretty cool technique and I really liked that. Um, I think something could be done to make it a little bit clearer what you were meant to do there, but what was meant to do there was actually really fun, so great job. Right, so this is an auto scroll from Chewy Bat. Chewy Bat makes some great levels, so I'm looking forward to this. All right, Super Mario one, auto scroll with blue platforms. Yes, my blue platforms. Ooh, yeah, I just had too much backwards momentum there. I don't really know where that came from. Oh, I get it. Took me a little bit too long to get that, and that's why I wound up in trouble. All right, we know what we're doing now, though. Over. Nice. Oh. <laughs> it's not safe yet. It's not safe yet. I have to wait for it to be safe. Okay, no more mistakes. Into the pipe. Awesome. Checkpoint? Not yet. Interesting area for a checkpoint. Back to the main world. That was interesting. Oof. Time to incorporate the age-old strategy of slamming into a wall. Alright, so when you're in situations like that where you need to suddenly shift momentum, the strategy that I always use is slam into a wall as hard as you can and then turn back. And if I had jumped later, I would have had that for sure. But I jumped way too early. There we go. Double swing. Tin coin. Next tin coin. Big piranha. We need to be running to get over that piranha. Oh, you know what? That is some speedrun strats right there. I mean, we're auto scroll, so you can't really optimize that much time. But still. Ooh, this is the end. Yeah. I think that's going to be world record time because the world record was so long. It was like four minutes. I'm probably going to come in at like two and a half minutes here. It was a good level. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, good level. And world record. Next up we have Astral Ascent by Tiny Tank 80. Looks like this is a very high clear rate, so this looks like this is gonna be more of a story level. Let's check it out, see what we've got here. Astral Ascent, we're going on an adventure up into the sky. Whoa! Low gravity. Saw some stuff up there. I wanna know what's up there. I wanna be up there. Oh, maybe if I had run properly. Well, you know, actually, I think we're about to go up there. Yeah. Alright, grab that. We're going up.
And we're running to the left. Nice, calm, relaxing. The music is just... I really enjoy this music. Any of, like, the kind of nighttime -y themes that they have in the games? Like, that's... that's... that's the music I really like. We got some coins. Oh, I'm up here. Good thing I didn't, uh, die from going too far off the screen up top. Hey, buddies. What? No. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna- I'm gonna die here. <laughs> I was trying to be cool, and I died on a super easy level. I'm just gonna block them until it's time to go. Never mind. That does not block them. And that's how I got in trouble last time. <laughs> was standing too close to the fire. Okay, so they shoot out stuff. Uh, whether you're right next to them or not, I thought if you were like on top of them, they would not shoot something out. So I have died twice now. I've I've got to stop doing that. Here we go, we're just gonna stand right here. And get that checkpoint before I die a third time. I'm off the screen somewhere. Alright, there we go. Alright, on off time. We got a boom boom. Hey boom boom. Coin. All right, and we go through the pipe. Nice! We got the one up. Good level. I liked how it was like that nice, relaxing, slow climb. Uh, pretty easy level, a lot of fun, and the music was great. I really loved the music. Don't stop to smell the flowers from Scratchel. 1.49% clear rate. Don't touch the fire flowers. It looks like this level was made for DGR. Let's go. Don't take damage. That makes sense. I mean, you're probably going to have a power-up check at the end to make sure you don't have a flower and if you could damage yourself to get rid of the flower. That would kind of defeat the entire purpose of the level. I'm waiting for them to be moving flowers that are like flying at my face. You want the pipe? Oh, low gravity. Okay. We can run and jump over that. That's fine. I don't want to be there. I think I have a choice, though. Okay. I don't like that path. Is there another way we can go? A spring or anything. Alright, well, we're just gonna keep pushing forward and exploring. That's not too difficult right there. Do the pipe. Bike. Good that they at least put the spike there that way you can practice. And that's the end. Okay, so really, that's just one tricky jump in the entire level. 
Um. Um. I wish to report a bug. That's probably it. Oh yeah, we got it. And the tin coin. Alright, that took me a couple minutes. I had to figure out um, what that trick was. But once you get that, and you know exactly what you're doing there, it's not a moving jump, it's, it's just, you know, pixel-perfect maneuver that you have all the time in the world to set up, so you're fine as long as you take that time to set it up. Probably within three pixels. It's probably not, like, literally pixel-perfect, but probably, like, one to three pixels. Good level. A patient platforming package from Nom Nom Blue. Find a tough boss fight at the end. Leave suggestions in the comment. All right, clear it's at about 16%, so it doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult. But you know what? I died early on a level that had a clear rate of 40%, so... <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Alright, nice elevator. We got our power up. Yeah, that happened. Got our power up. Points. We're taking you with us, buddy. Always useful to have somebody like you. What have we got here? There's something down there. No, did we lose my buddy? We lost my buddy. He got tired of being kicked around and he left us. Alright, checkpoint. Oh! Alright, blue platform time! Checkpoint! Oh, munchers. More blue platforms. I'm guessing this is that boss fight we were told about. Oh, double bosses. Okay. Looks like we need keys from both of them. That's fine. Looks like we've got lots of power-ups here. We can just be pretty aggressive and in his face. Oh my. If anybody's been watching me for a while, you know boss fights are like my weakness. Doesn't matter how easy, how hard the boss fight is. It's difficult to me. Specifically when it's the Koopalings. Like, some boss fights aren't that bad for me. Boss fights that don't involve the Koopalings or Bowser or Bowser Jr. I'm usually really good with those. But like, when it's an actual boss boss, it tend to be kind of rough on me. I should really just learn how to do them. Alright, I think that's the end of the level. Just in case, we're gonna go ahead and get these, uh, power-ups. There it is, good level, a lot of fun, a nice, slow escalation of platforming. You had tougher jumps people could go to if they wanted to collect the coins, I loved that. Um, some blue platforms at the end with some more tighter jumps, amazing there, and then the boss fight, great, great job all around. Twirling, twirling from Maestro. This course is about the twirling slash thinning, and it's 3D world. <laughs> this one's gonna be rough on me. I know it's got like a 25% clear rate, but me in 3D world, oh boy. Oh boy, we do not get along. Here we go. Alright, looks like uh, this is a long jump. Oh, that just, that was the perfect, just, just explanation of my experience with 3D World right there. Just diving right into that wall. That's, that's all you need to know about me in 3D World. Alright, oh, pipe. Uh-oh, we're underwater. Underwater trees, that's interesting. 
there's a lot of shipwrecks in the backyard of this this water. Like, what what happened to those ships? This took me back to the beginning, didn't it? I was supposed to go in that first pipe, not the second one. Well, you know what? I went in the wrong pipe. All right, uh, there's a door there. Oh, here's the end. What's in the door then? Don't drop me to my death. I threw one up. Rewarding the brave. I love it. Here we go, here we go. Big 3D world jump! Yeah. A uh, good level. Um, I, I, I just absolutely loved that, that long jump I did. Uh, that second jump that was completely unnecessary where I bounced off the wall. That's I'm still laughing about that. That was hilarious. Great level. Keep running Little Timmy from Kill Champa. Right plus Y, have fun. Alright, I feel like this is auto Mario, so I'm holding down right and Y. And we're not we're not doing anything else. I'm just pressing these two buttons no matter what happens on screen. Here we go. This is definitely auto Mario. You're not familiar with auto Mario. Auto Mario is basically where you press absolutely nothing on the controller, or you press like one button and hold it the whole time, and the level plays for itself. And that's exactly what that was. So when you see these levels, they're highly engineered to make sure that the player never dies. And it's a pretty cool thing to make. And it's a pretty cool thing to watch. Um, but they're not challenging at all. They're pretty much guaranteed wins as long as you follow the instructions. So great job. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to follow us on Twitter or join our Discord, the links are available in the video's description. The best way to send me level suggestions is via the Super Mario channel in Discord. If you'd like to watch other videos, you can check out another recommended video here or you can check out the Mario & Coffee playlist here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.